Hello. And welcome back to my series on video jug, Fix Up Look Sharp with me, Ollie Murray. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make this baby, this Aztec tribal gem, out of a sponge and some fabric paint. Yeah. Just that. Amazing. Yeah. Right, all you're going to need for this one is an old t-shirt, um, or you can get one from a charity shop, a pair of scissors, some colourful fabric paint, some old sponges, or new ones if you're lucky, and uh, a plate or a dish which you don't mind putting your fabric paint onto. First we're going to prepare the sponges. Now, um, you can be kind of crazy with this, just go for it. Just cut the corners off and make different size triangles and rectangles and, you know, if you dare even make circles. Um, so just keep cutting different shapes like this. I'll do some little ones as well, just like that. And it's quite good to keep using the corners because then you'll get really sharp edges. Okay, so yeah, so just keep cutting out all sorts of shapes and you can really play around with them. Get little triangles and put them in bigger, uh, bigger triangles so you've got kind of a really nice design. Or um, you know, lots of different shapes could fit into one, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and just get really creative. And once you're sort of happy with how many you've got, you can start pouring your paint onto uh, your, your plate. Right, now you've got your paint and your sponges ready. You're going to grab your T-shirts. Now, if you're nervous, you can always practice, as I said before, uh, on a bit of paper, but I'm just going to go for it. So then I'm going to get my sponge and um, I'm just going to start by choosing the colour I want to go first. So I'm just dipping my sponge in there and then you're going to put it wherever you decide it will look best. Really gently because you want, you don't want the paint to sort of bleed into the t-shirt. There we go. So then I'm going to make my next shape and I want to go for yellow. Again. Okay, then I'm going to um, use some of the other shapes that I've made. So I'm going to grab a square and maybe do a purple to go next to my triangle. I'm going to work mainly around the neck area first. Um, try and get that a really strong pattern before I sort of work through the t-shirt. So I'm just going to do a square either side. Now these t-shirts are great because you can either um, dress it up with a pair of wet lip leggings for an evening out or some denim shorts and go to festivals in them. Like they're really fun t-shirts and quite staple t-shirts for the wardrobe. I actually think keeping it symmetrical makes the t-shirt look really cool. So I'm going to do the same on each side. And then I'm going to follow the neck line round, just like this. So just keep going until you're happy with the design you want to create. Right, so once you've got most of your design down, you can always go over some of the triangles that have dried. So these are the first ones I put down, these red ones here, and I'm just going to get my little purple triangle and just go in the middle. I think that looks quite cool. We have two, two triangles within each other. And there you have it. You have my awesome Aztec t-shirt, which is ready to go for any festival, but it is still a little bit wet. So I'm going to leave it overnight and then it'll be ready to wear for tomorrow. So there you go. I've left it to dry. How cool is that? Ready for any festival. And don't forget, if you like what I've been doing, you can always subscribe to Video Jug of Beauty. And next week, I'll be turning these into something very summery and bright for drinking. Tune in. I'll see you then. Bye.